Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Delphine, aka The Coco Goddess. Today I'm going to film for you guys the very first episode of Coco's Closet. Today's video is going to be a Coco's Confidential. Basically, I'm going to give you guys tips and tricks on how to shop. Today's edition, how to thrift successfully. Stay tuned. Okay guys. So, first of all, Happy New Year. I know a lot of you might have set some New Year's resolutions for yourselves, and for most of us, one of them is saving money this year. So, we all love to shop, and who wants to take shopping off their list? Come on. So, I'm going to teach you guys one of my tricks for shopping and saving money, and that's thrifting. I have here a rack full of some of the stuff that I've gotten at the thrift store in the past years and months, and we're going to go through. I'm going to teach you what I shop for, how I shop for it, and how to get the best deals. So one of the most important things about thrifting is to know what you're shopping for when you go in. There are certain things that I know that I'm going to look for when I go into the thrift store. Those things are blazers, pants, skirts, and jackets. The reason why I stay away from tops is because, think about it, people are wearing these clothes, they're sweating in these clothes, they're working in these clothes, I don't want anybody's shirts on me. I don't know about you. So I'm going to teach you exactly how I go about shopping for these things. I've shopped in thrift stores in neighborhoods with different demographics, and I haven't really found the style of clothing, the brands, and the type of clothing that I've been looking for. I have a thrift shop in my neighborhood that I love where I found all of these things, and it's worked for me ever since. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. One of the many benefits of shopping at the thrift store is that you get high quality clothing for a low price. Let's face it, they just don't make clothes like they used to anymore. You get thicker materials, longer lasting clothing, new styles or different styles for a very, very low price. I've gotten some great quality leather, some great wool, different patterns, all from the thrift store. So when I go in the thrift store, the first section I go to is the blazer section. So let's go through the blazers that I have so far. Now when you're shopping at the thrift store, remember that sizing is different for every brand. So you don't want to just stick to your normal size. Since I'm usually around a size 4 or 6, I shop anywhere from size 2 to size 8 in the thrift store. Just because again, different brands size differently. I like to look for blazers with high shoulders or large shoulder pads and great structures and silhouettes. The first blazer I have here is this army green blazer with gold buttons and gold detailing. I love this blazer because it reminds me of that Michael Jackson army style video, army style jacket or the Janet Jackson army style. It's a little bit big on me, but I don't mind because I can fit a bulky sweater under it and it's such a classic and unique shape. I'm not going to find anything like this in a regular store. It has these beautiful gold buttons and brown buttons that button on the inside. So when you button all of the buttons, you won't see them. Look at the high shoulders. And although it doesn't have lapels, it has a round neckline. Buttons on the cuffs as well. I mean, how rhythmation is it? The next blazer that I got is probably one of my favorites. I wear this blazer all the time. It's this gray wool double-breasted blazer. This blazer is so thick that I often wear it as a jacket instead of just a blazer. I'll put a t-shirt under here and rock it out as my fall jacket. It has large silver buttons, sil six silver buttons across the front. It has an awesome silhouette. Again, like I said, it's double-breasted. has pockets on the front. And as you can see, it's tailored, so it gives you a very nice shape. That's very important for a blazer. And although boyfriend style is very popular nowadays, you just can't beat a blazer with a great silhouette. So this blazer is definitely one of my favorites. I bet you're wondering, how much did you pay for these blazers? This blazer 
was between $3.99 and $4.99. That is $3.99 and $4.99. Yes, honey, I did that. The great thing about buying from the thrift store is that not only are you getting great material, great clothing items for a great price, but you're also helping out a charity. I buy from the Salvation Army, Goodwill, and I also have the Next Blazer, which came from a thrift store that benefits a, a foundation for autism. So as I said, guys, this Next Blazer I bought at a thrift store that benefits a foundation for autism, which is a great cause, and I was happy to help out. It's a blazer that's from Talbot's, but I guarantee you I did not pay the Talbot's price for this blazer. It's a simple black blazer. It has a pocket at the top, three buttons going down. Nothing too special about it. It is tailored, so it does have a feminine shape, which is great. This next blazer is my second favorite blazer. I wear this all the time. It's just, it's an amazing shape. It's an amazing color. Everything about it is awesome. This olive green lapelless blazer. I apologize, it's a little wrinkled. My bad, y'all. It has this burnt orange lining on the inside. It has beautiful gold buttons on the bottom. It has two large pockets, large shoulder pads. If you've ever seen the movie Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead, I shop at the thrift store because of that movie. You just the wardrobe pieces are just so amazing. The high shoulders, the high-waisted pants. It's just 80s all the way. And you can only find those pieces at the thrift store unless you shop vintage, which is a whole nother deal. But for the price that you get at the thrift store, it is so worth it. When I wear this blazer, I just feel so sophisticated, so classy, so refined. It's effortless. You can just put a plain cream silk tank top under here. You can wear it with black. I wear this with jeans, dresses, anything that I can think of. And it's really long, which is one of the things that I love about it. It definitely goes right under your bum, so you can cover up that booty. The next blazer is a newer addition to my collection. It's this bright red blazer. Now, I don't have much red clothing, as you can see. So when I saw this red blazer, I had to add it to my wardrobe. There's just something about a piece like a blazer in a bright color that just stands out and really pops. This red blazer, again, is lapelless. I just love the look of this. It's so different. Not everybody is rocking something like this. It's so structured. It has this huge, beautiful gold button, one button. It has, it's seeming, is perfect aligned with the feminine shape which is awesome the sleeves are long and it also has that large gold button on the cuffs as well pockets on the front although they are not opened yet <laughs> and this blazer was $5.99 so it was a great buy it's a like a linen material so it's great in the summer winter fall I did an outfit post with this I'll put a picture up here for you guys, but you can wear this with a skirt, you can wear this with jeans, whatever you want. I love the color, I love how bright it is. Again, it's a longer blazer, which is great for me because I love that look. Now, I mentioned that you usually can't find blazers of this quality or clothing of this quality and this style from the past unless you're shopping vintage. Well, honey, I got some vintage for you. How about vintage? Oscar de la Renta. Yes, honey. I got that at the thrift store for $4.99. I couldn't believe it when I saw this blazer. It's a very simple version of an Oscar de la Renta blazer or an Oscar de la Renta item. Nothing too fancy. There are no embellishments on it, but it is a closet staple. It is a kind of green brown color. It has these caramel colored buttons. The shape is perfection. The material is light, so it's great all seasons. Look at the lapels on this blazer. The detail is just so simple, but so amazing. It has pockets on the front. The sleeves come down perfectly. And it has that burnt orange coloring on the inside. Get that gratifying feeling that 
you know that the thrift store just really came through for you and you're like praise Jesus thank you father so the next item category that I look for are high-waisted pants high-waisted pants are a huge trend nowadays but you just can't find the quality that I'm looking for at a regular store ASOS ain't gonna have nothing like this baby girl mm -mm. the first pair that I ever got at the thrift store is this navy blue pair of high-waisted pants. Now these are trousers, very work appropriate. They are polyester and they are a size 2 but they fit and look great when I wear them. Now around the brunt, around the band, the waistband, there are four gold buttons. They don't button anything but they're a great detail. You could also switch these out to a fancier button or something with more embellishment but I think they're great with just a simple gold touch. They have a zipper on the side and a pleat down the center. I love to wear these pants with nude heels, a white drape top underneath, the next pair of high-waisted pants that I got at the thrift store, you've definitely seen if you watched my holiday lookbook or my Christmas Sunday outfit of the day. They have also been featured on the blog, thecocogoddess.com, many times. And everyone always asks where I got these pants. I'm sure they expect me to say something like Zara or ASOS or maybe Boohoo or She Inside. But no, honey, I got them at the thrift store and they were $3.99. This red pair of high-waisted statement trousers. They kind of remind me of like Aladdin pants because they like flare out and then they come together at the bottom. But they're just a really great pair of tailored trousers. They're a thick wool material so it definitely will keep you warm in the winter. You can put leggings under it if you want to be extra warm. But they are just the most amazing pair of pants. It comes they come up to about my belly button, so they cover a lot. They fit around my butt beautifully, if I may say so myself, which I do. They have a gold button or a brown iridescent button with gold detailing on the left side of the waistband. There is a zipper on the inside of the pocket, which I think is really cool and I have not seen. So you actually zip it up inside of the pocket and then that pocket covers. The tailoring on the back, you can just tell that they took a lot of time and effort to make sure that it would fit a woman's body perfectly. There are pleats on the front. And again, going down, there's a seam. Also at the thrift store, you're going to find one-of-a-kind items. So you're not going to walk in and see 10 of the same items. You're going to know that unless the person brought it at the same time as a person who had this item, which was probably in the 80s, you're not going to find somebody wearing the same item as you. So that's the benefit that you get. Alright, baby dolls, let's talk skirts. The first skirt I got is actually a name brand skirt. This black Michael Kors circle skirt I found in a rack at the thrift store. Who would give this up? I have no idea, but I was so happy to find it. But I was so happy to find it. It is a size 2, so, so I did have to go down a size, but it still fits like a dream. This black circle skirt is a cotton and polyester blend. It has pockets on the front and pleating all around the waist. It's a longer circle skirt, so it goes down just about under my knees. If you follow the blog, you would have seen I actually paired this skirt and this beautiful red blazer together in one of my outfit of the day posts. This skirt probably cost me about $6 or less. Now we can't end this video without me showing you one of the greatest deals that I've ever gotten at the thrift store, which are my leather jackets. Pure, genuine leather in different colors, in different shapes, in different styles. You can only get at the thrift store. The first jacket I ever purchased from the thrift store, I can't lie, I barely wear it. But it was just such a great deal that I couldn't pass it up. It's this black, thick leather biker jacket. Now this jacket is a little big on me. It's about two sizes, too big for me. But the shape is so unique. The leather is so thick. 
It has great zipper detail. It has this stretch fabric. And it cinches at the waist. As you can see from the waistband. It has large shoulder pads and wide lapels. It's by a brand called Nevada Blue, which I haven't heard of. It's a medium, but I think a small or an extra small would have been better for me. But it's just something that I could not pass up. The next and last jacket that I got at the thrift store is one of those closet staple items. It's this green leather sophisticated classic cut jacket. It has a round neckline, gold buttons going down, an olive green interior, and it's an army green blazer. Now this is a cropped a crop leather jacket so it's not as long as a normal leather, leather jacket would be but when you put this on with a tight little black dress or with jeans and some heels you really stand out people are going to look and think where did she find that jacket and it's not the normal biker jacket style now before we end i want to show you guys a few pieces that i got from my most recent trip to the thrift store the first piece is this really simple black shoulder bag now this is a tiny black patent leather shoulder bag that you can wear over the shoulder. You can wear it crossbody, or you can tuck the strap in and just wear it as a tiny clutch. It has a hexagonal shape, go detail on the inside, and it has a pocket for your credit cards or for any cash right here and as you can see it was $1.99 the next thing that I purchased on my most recent trip was this pair of Escada trousers I took the tag off so I can't remember how much they were but they were a great fit they are straight leg pants. I also purchased this green brown pair of pants from Ann Taylor Loft at the thrift store. These were $9.99 so they were more on the more expensive side but they're in great condition. They're again a straight leg pair of pants. They're a regular waist I believe. They're not high waisted. They have pockets on the side. I decided to buy a few skirts from the thrift store as well. Patterns, plaid, midi skirts are, have all been trends for this season. So the first midi length skirt that I purchased is this wool beige and brown midi length skirt. It's a really thick skirt with a high waist, a thick band with really thick belt loops around the waistband. It's midi length and it is a pencil skirt. It does have pockets. It is slightly too big for me, so I plan on taking it in, but that's fine because I got it for $7.99. So it's worth it to put a little extra money in because this skirt is definitely an investment piece. It's pretty thick, so it's not going to just fall apart on me. So I don't mind putting in that extra time to take it in a bit. The next skirt is a plaid A-line skirt. It's pleated and it also is a high-waisted skirt. Now this skirt is has blue, green, and black. It's a classic plaid print, which I love because plaid is definitely big this season. It's a wool material again. I usually don't like pleats, but I thought this skirt would be okay because it has such a great print. And it is a longer skirt. And the last skirt is one of the most popular, has one of the most popular plaid prints. It's this red and black skirt. I've seen a lot of people rocking red and black plaid midi length skirts. So I thought this would be a great buy. Now this is a wrap skirt. So it does come as one long piece of fabric that you wrap the first piece, the first layer, and then you wrap the last layer on top. I plan on cutting off some of the fringe and making this skirt a little bit tighter because it is a little bit too big 
for me but that's okay again because this skirt was $7.99 so I can put in that extra time and extra effort into making it a great piece for my closet. So now that we've gone through and seen all of the items, let's go over the thrift store rules. Rule number one, shop where you know. Make sure you're going to a thrift store where you know you're going to find the type of items that you're looking for with great fit, great style, and great prices. Rule number two, Make sure you know what you're looking for before you go into the thrift store. As I said, some of the pieces that I like to look for are skirts, trousers, blazers, and jackets. So I know when I go to the thrift store, I know exactly which sections I'm going to go to, and I won't waste time filtering through stuff that I'm not looking for. Rule number three, size ain't nothing but a number. It's about the fit. So don't be afraid to go up a size or two or down a size. Rule number four, don't be afraid to buy pieces that need a little love. If it needs tailoring or needs to be taken in a little bit, that's okay. You're getting a great price, so make sure you're putting time and effort into investment pieces for your wardrobe. Rule number five, inspect. Make sure you're buying pieces that don't have holes, wears, or tears. Remember, this is other people's clothing. So you want to make sure that they took care of the clothing that you're buying. Rule number six, dry clean, tailor, wash. You want to make sure that your clothes are clean and fitting correctly before you wear them. Rule number one in fashion is to make sure that the fit is always great and you're always clean and ironed. And the last rule is when you get out of the thrift store, wash your hands. You want to make sure your hands are clean before you start touching your face or anything else. So thank you guys for watching this episode of Coco's Closet. I wish you all the best in 2015. May the thrift gods be ever in your favor. Whether you're vanilla Coco, milk Coco, dark Coco, or dulce de Coco, you're still fabulous, baby, and you're still a goddess. Remember, we're all made out of chocolate. See you next time.